Link 2012. Good morning, my fellow potatoes! Welcome back to some more Bloons Tower Defense 6. As you all probably already know, computer is going to get shipped off here. I'm recording some episodes in advance, so you're currently seeing an episode recorded on the 27th. Today we're going to be doing some daily challenges. We're also going to take out the race quick quick here, and that's going to be about all for today. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to make this episode too long. And uh, I don't want to, I, I want to be able to stretch it out a little bit. Now I want to record a few different episodes, different things today, and uh, upload them as time goes on. But yeah, no, without further ado, let's just, let's just jump right into it. So our first daily challenge, we gotta use Quincy and Dart Monkeys. Dart Monkeys are actually really stinking good. Uh, from my understand, Quincy can solo quite a while early game, so we can kind of stretch things out here. What I mean by that is that we can go for some better Dart Monkey Towers. One of the things I really want to get is a Juggernaut right here. Because Juggernaut can shoot right down this lane. He can help us take down some of those really nasty... Ceramics. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Now I might want another one back here, and this guy will be longer range. So that way he can detect camo and just do a better job. We're going to target last on this guy, obviously. That way he shoots all the way down this lane. And I mean, this challenge is going to be pretty easy, probably. You know, it's just going to be simply getting some juggernauts. Maybe an ultra jug in the end. I don't know. And obviously some triple darts around here. Maybe we should get a fam club. I don't even know. We could also go for some sharpshooters. That way we can deal extra damage to mob class balloons and other other fellows around here. And the difficulty is medium slash hard, so our monkeys are semi-expensive, but it shouldn't be that bad. Right, so far it's looking pretty good. I would, as always, like, like one up here, but the issue is that if they shoot down this line, because they'd be on this end, they shoot it diagonally like, to some extent. Even if we got it really, really nicely, it might shoot like right down that way. Don't really want that. Ideally, you can get them in a spot where they can shoot down two lines at once, but it's really, really hard to find spots like that. And I'm not sure how I would achieve that. So I guess if you put one like right here, because then he'd shoot down this line, and then maybe you could get him to shoot down some other line. I don't know. Put them right here. Target first. Nah, that need to shoot this way. Yeah, I don't even know, guys. Yeah, he's already doing lots of damage here. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. So we get another one of these fellas. Now, I am worried. Actually, I'm only going to get one of these fellas for now. And my reasoning behind that is that we do need to start gaining some Moab popping power before we try to delve too deep into anything. So I'm going to grab a sharpshooter right here in this little area. And this guy, this guy, he's going to be our sharpshooter. I only had to beat a, uh, what's it called? A BFB. It's not going to be that hard. Just need to take down BFB. Probably can do that without too much trouble. I'd honestly say we don't even need triple darts here. Just a few juggernauts and some sharpshooters to deal the extra damage to the Moab. Now, obviously, triple darts does deal really good damage to, uh, I think it's like insides of the balloons, but it's going to depend on the case. Issues I can never remember all the rounds, and this is something that I need to get used to a little bit because I know some of the rounds. You know, like I know 63 has all those stupid ceramics, <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> uh. 
I know that. I know 40 is your first Moab. I know you don't have Moabs until, what is it, like 50 after that? Which is pretty nice. That's pretty much it. No, okay, this guy should have been a little bit more in this way, but... The issue... Okay, so... I've noticed this with the Juggernaut. And Ninja Kiwi, what you really need to fix is Juggernaut shooting a little bit to the side of his center. And I get why that is. You know, you look at the model for this guy, and the ball's over here on the right, and the monkey's over here on the left. However, the issue is that if you're trying to align a monkey, you want to align the shot where it goes right down the middle, you can't really do it. Because it doesn't do that. And so you have to predict, you know, where it's going to be if it's on his side. And then, it's, especially if you want the Juggernaut to be targeting different spots, that becomes problematic. Uh, because then, you know, he's targeting... He's shooting from here over here. He's, tar he's shooting from here over here. From here if he's going down. It's just really, really confusing for me. And other players, I bet, too. I digress. I think I want a bunch of triple darts right around here in the middle. I can get a few sharpshooters over this way. Actually, I kind of do want a Juggernaut, like, right here. And this guy should be on first. Because then he's got some nice lines to shoot down. I wonder if we better if I have him right up here. Nah, I think it's best. Maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to put him right here. Okay. Yeah, now we start working up for some more sharpshooters. Because these are going to be our main wall popping power. Yeah, we did not fare well with that guy. So we definitely need to up our game against mobs here. I'm going to set a few, after these three, I'm going to have a few more sharpshooters with different targeting priorities. I know it's not going to be that big of a deal, but it might be helpful. Like I have one on strong, one on close, one on last, just to see how that does with everything. This guy should be on strong. This way we can also take down some of the other miscellaneous balloons and not always target the Moab, which is kind of neat, but... So I'm going to have a last guy. I want to be right here. I know the Duggernauts do a pretty good job targeting last two, but I don't know. Eh. Just trying random stuff here. I'm a noob still, <laughs> for those of you watching. And by the way, let me know in the comments below if I'm talking a little bit too loud. Because I know that stream usually doesn't tell me, but uh, I know that sounds an important thing. And I know that this mic like caps out its volume pretty stinking uh, low, should I say? Low? I don't even know. Basically what I notice is that there can be a lot of after sound effect where the volume goes too high. Let me know if I'm pushing that threshold. And if I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to adjust that later. There we go. So we got all the different targetings in there. Let's go for a bunch of triple darts in here. And this guy, this is going to be our Super Monkey Fan Club right here. I think it's up to 10 monkeys, so we got to get 10 in here. Three, nine, sorry, three, nine, ten, there we go, perfect. This is going to be our little Super Monkey Fan Club right in here. And I kind of want this middle guy to be like so. And then for the rest, I'm going to get like half sharp shots, half long range. I might get the ones back here long range, and then the ones in the middle sharpshooters. Let 
Yeah. Yeah, so quick and sharp. Quick sharp, quick sharp, quick sharp, quick sharp, quick sharp. Alright, very good. So now when we use the ability, we can see how much it does. Oh snap, I bought the wrong one, that's okay. Cool, very neat, there we go, so that's pretty good. We can still go for middle path. Nice. Now when we do this, this Oh wow, this BFP doesn't stand a chance. This is an easy challenge. Yeah, GG. Got a 1-1-0 Dart Monkey 2. Nice reward. So really honestly, we beat that first try. I know we were using MK. Oh wait, what's this challenge? I need to go back out of the monkey. So we're 40 to 60. We got 20k to start out. No monkey knowledge. But what's the, what are the other catches? We got no powers and we got fast balloons. Okay. Max of four monkeys. Ooh. So obviously my first thought is to get a reactor ready. Because I know that the reactor is going to take care of our camo detection. Our reactor is going to take care of uh, taking down most regular balloons. But we have some problems here. And that includes MOA popping power. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Ceramics. Ceramics is another big deal. So, I'm kind of tempted to get a sniper monkey, but I don't really know what sniper monkey is best for ceramics. Maybe like a sniper, a Moab shove, and a super monkey. Like a super monkey with knockback right in here. No, right in here. I think that might do the trick. I th I'm only really worried about the Moab shove, so maybe I should get the super monkey right here. Hmm. Well, first let's get the the sub the the mob shove right here. There go very nice. So now we can go ahead and remove this, and I'm gonna go ahead and place down this fella right here. And you're gonna be our knockback monkey. Very good. Let's see how this does. I mean, we're obviously not gonna have any trouble with the beginning mods. We might have trouble with the BFB, but that's all I'm thinking. We do have to beat 63, which is like my main concern here. Ooh, those balloons are fast. Okay. We definitely need to level up our super monkey right here. The unfortunate part is we don't really have anything to slow down the balloons, which is what I'm worried about. We don't have a mortar eater. I was gonna say mortar because that can deal fire damage. Actually, I think this thing can only beat up to like uh, this thing can't beat a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get plasma when we can. Ooh, yeah, this is. Ooh, okay. So that's not the solution. I definitely think that we need the reactor sub. But I don't think... I think we just need one of them. Alright. Moab shove might be the way to go. But I don't think Super Monkey is the way to go for beating everything else. Destroyer is kind of nice. I think we need shove. I think that's definitely the second part. Because that'll take us... It might even beat the BFB. I don't even know. And then with this guy, we might be able to get, like, semi-automatic large caliber. Be our third monkey. I don't know. No, that's pretty rough, to be honest. This guy would target strong, and then we could have like a bouncing bullets targeting the weaker balloons. And these guys just have full map coverage, that's kind of why I want to go for them. Yeah, okay, so this guy's going to target first, this guy's going to target strong. Alright. Wait, whoops, that's the other way around. I want you to target first. You're targeting strong. Uh. Oh, that barely did it, okay. Cool. <laughs> Nervous laughter. Shrapnel. Bouncing bullets is what we need here. If we can get bouncing bullets, we might be set. So, let's get bouncing bullets here. Boom. 
Very nice. And then we could also get Supply Drop if we really want to, and that would help us get some of these other upgrades. I don't know if doing the sub at different paths will actually help it out. These are things they really don't know. But it does look like these snipers are pulling up for us, which is good. Yeah, I definitely think we need supply drop here, even though it's not too many rounds. I think it'll pay itself back. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. We can like pause restart. Nah, let's not do that. Let's just go for supply drop and see how far that takes us. The main problem I see is Moabs, still. Yeah, I think this is a mistake, but it might be worth it in the end. I don't know. There's no monkey knowledge, so it could be that there's only one solution to this. Which really irks me, because I don't want that to be the case. <laughs> Alright, very good. So we can get full automatic rifle. A light elite defender might be cool. Could also get the Comanche. And command the reason I'm interested in Comanche defense is that I'm not sure that we can take down the BFB alone. So it might be a good option to get that just to get better Moab shove. I really don't know. It's the issue. I'm really not sure. Okay, yeah, nah. We definitely can't survive that. Hmm. Because I, I am still interested in getting Sun Avatar here. I think Sun Avatar might pull through for us. We're going to start with our usual sub. Because I think that the sub's the way to go. Obviously, can't really beat them. Maybe we don't need a shove, though. Maybe we just need something good to take down the, the Moabs. Like, because I don't believe they have extra health. So we could theoretically do this, right? Okay, so that's nice. And then right here at the end, after everything else, we just get a Sun Avatar with knockback. Like maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, right now we don't have knockback, but we'll be able to get it soon. I think that's what we need to go for here. Boom, there we go. So that's pretty good. I think I want to go for a Operation Dart Storm 2. I think that'll help us out. Just against... Well, do we want to? Because I know that we have a long time before more Moabs, but at the same time it might help. Because Sky Shredder, right? No, I think this is pretty good for now. Let's go for Sky Shredder. And we'll get Centered Path here too. That way he can deal more to all these balloons. There we go. It's actually, the centered path is probably a waste of money. It's not that helpful for us right now. I keep calling this guy fair. It's Operation Dart Storm. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, fellas. Okay. If so we can get Ultra Vision on this guy. I don't think we really need Ultra Vision. The only problem is this part right here. So we might it might be useful for us to get that. But let's see if we can get the Sun Avatar. Because if we can get the Sun Avatar, then we'll do it. Now, we might want another Plasma Monkey here, just to do knockback. I really don't know. We're going to pause if we get close to losing. And that'll sort of be our indicator of where we're at. My main fear is 63. I don't know how we're going to take down 63. Dra downdraft, maybe? A downdraft might be a good idea here. If I can get Sun Avatar, it's GG. But I doubt we can in time, is, is my problem. Yeah, I have my finger right over the escape button. That way we can quit this whenever. So 49 is the one with all those, those crazy ceramics. Okay, uh... Nope, nope, nope! Ah, oh, bummer. So we get about 10,000. So I'd say that's pretty good. We might want to go for a downdraft then. If we can get that far, that's that's pretty decent. That's pretty stinking decent. Of course, we could get some Bernie stuff on, like, the, uh, the guy Destroyer or whatever here. But I think that our main problem here is really, honestly, 
that we need to be able to push regular blues back. I don't think that we have a problem here against Moabs. We really just have a problem against regular balloons. So, with that being said, let's go. We're gonna get knocked back on this guy as soon as possible. And then we'll just go for a downdraft, because downdraft's not that pricey. Oh, come on, really? That worked the first time. Okay, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Super monkey right in there. And then of course we gotta get our ship right here. I guess we can always save an exit and then go back in. That's really weird, because it worked the first time we did that, which is which is really strange. Nope! Oh, you can't continue. Ooh. That's tricky. That's really tricky. Infinite figure. Maybe this will help out. I don't know. If I get the super monkey a little bit this way. Okay, let's see. Really worried right now. Okay, good. We hit it more directly that time, so maybe that'll help us out here. Nope. Bummer. Could continue for 200 bucks, but I don't think that's worth it. What if I held off on my monkey sub, actually? What if I went for knockback first? And then got the the sub after that? Because I think knockback's more important. There we go. Like, and just get him when I get the chance, you know? Yeah, because that'll do the trick. There we go. Do it for now. I'm still worried that we're not going to be able to take all of these balloons here, but we it's only 700 more bucks that we need to get our reactor. And then after that, we'll go for a downdraft, obviously. This is our idea all along. Uh, obviously, we're also going to go for an Operation Dart Storm here, because that does do damage to the main balloons. The only issue is that it doesn't really do damage against ceramics. So here, either what we need is something that does more damage to ceramics, which I don't think we really need, or we need something that will knock them back, such as Downdraft, which I think we're going to get here. Then maybe go for a Sun Avatar, I really don't know. I really don't want a micro, so I'm just going to get uh, Pursuit here. Alright, now which path is Downdraft? Middle path is Downdraft, so let's go ahead and get that. It's pretty cheap. Our main problem here is that we don't really have much to save up for after we get downdraft. Like, I highly doubt we're going to be able to get Sun Avatar. That's a really expensive upgrade. But maybe we can. I really don't know. Or we can get Support Chinook. Support Chinook actually wouldn't be bad. Because Support Chinook would allow us to move around our Super Monkey. Which would be kind of neat, to be honest. It might help us out here. And Support Chinook does, like, drop supply drops and stuff, so that could help us out. Alright, so we're barely making end speed here. I guess it's going to depend on the round we get it. If we get it towards the end, if we only have... If we're if... Mm, yeah, I think we can only get the Support Chinook. The Support Chinook's downdraft is much better. And that's really what we need here, to take down these all these ceramics. Better downdraft. My main concern is, will Super Monkey be able to deal with all of it? <laughs> Excuse me there. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna go for support. That way we can get some lives too, because we are really low on lives right now. It would be nice to just be able to leak a few. Kind of nice. Alright, almost at Schnook. Another thousand and we're good. Oh, is this going to be one of those... Okay, I'm still really worried about the Hyper Clump Ceramics rounds. Ooh, ooh, we're, we're cutting it real close. Really close, man. I'm kind of tempted to move my Super Monkey over here, but at the same time, it feels like we're struggling way too much for that. I know we can't really upgrade anything else. Okay, we got some money. Can we sell? We can sell. Hmm. Okay, the really nice thing about downdraft though is that it is helping the ceramics go back and take more damage from the sub. Which is kind of sweet. Okay, so I can get like a few extra lives, but it's just one at a time. Alright, hmm. Really worried about on 60. Moabs aren't that big of a deal compared to that. Hmm. So I'm thinking if I can sell for Sun Avatar, it might be good enough be completely wrong here but that might be the strat we use next time if this doesn't work and then maybe I'll just cut to that instead of letting you guys see everything so it'll just be boring oh man uh, this might create a regrow farm now we're good we're good I think we got this BFB too I think I'm a little bit overreacting about it we do need to take these guys down fast or else okay good we're fine yeah, we're fine. Oh, forgot I could get this. Let's get another life. Plus zero. Okay, three is the max lives then, I guess. Which is fine, you know. What can you expect? 63, bro. 63 is where we're gonna die. I'm telling you. Unless we can get enough money this round to make it to Sun Avatar. This is the last round we got. Just can't see us pulling through. Although, what if I sold our Sky Shredder? Because we, uh, will we have, wait, will we have more Moabs? Do we have Moabs on 64 or 65? Because if we don't, then we could theoretically take it down. Because we could just use our monkey right here. Alright, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see, bro. This is the round of Reckoning. Yeah, nah, there's no way. Yeah, okay. There's no way. Round 63 is going to be the death of us. Oh, we can continue. Okay. So we can see if selling our schnook for a super monkey will be worth it. So we're going to get you. All right. So that's going to be really helpful. Now, what else would be really good against ceramics? I'm thinking, like, what if we got a juggernaut right here? You know, what if guy's on last he's got really quick shots yo would this work would this work theoretically would this work okay that worked that actually worked it was really close but it worked so don't know what to say oh we should have gotten we, sh we should we shouldn't have gotten this you know what we should have gotten we should have gotten a ship we should have gotten a ship here to help us out Okay, this is actually really, really rough. Oh, no, never mind. Our Super Monkey is good enough to take these guys down. Nice. Alright, one more round here and we're done. It's looking pretty good. So, is it you just have to, had to shell, sell the support, sh support, support Chinook <laughs> to get the Super Monkey? So, I guess you could do that earlier. And I think the other only thing I would do different would get be get a... Uh, 
what is that cod called? Like a like one of those ships that has the the fire grape shots as well as really fast shooting. I think that would be great for us. Oh man, 65 does have a lot of uh, moabs. Got a bunch of BFBs right in here. Okay, thankfully our super monkey can take down the moabs just fine though. As long as we beat the BFB, piece of cake. GG. G stinking G. And we get a 031 sniper. I'm guessing that was the solution. <laughs> But I wasn't smart enough to see that, so... Oh well. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do for today is we're going to check out the race. And what we're going to do on the race... Oh, you can do just monkeys excluded. So we don't have bombs, we don't have these guys. We got faster balloons, but we have mob speed decreased. Now, if you look at the leaderboard, probably we're going to have... Yeah, just a bunch of people that instantly beat it. Now, as you all know, I am terrible at this. So what I end up doing is ticketing out the whole time. And actually, I'm going to head home here, and I'm going to get Benjamin as my starter. Ben is great. Ben is fantastic. Ben works. We used up our free entry, apparently. So we'll just go for 100 bucks. I just want to beat it once, okay? That's all I want. That's all I want. I just want to beat it once, okay? Okay. Alright, so obviously we need to go for Glaives. Glaives are really great. They do a bunch of popping power. And we're gonna not play it too risky, because I don't know. We have to go all the way to around 80 apparently. And that's gonna be a that's gonna be a difficulty. But we do have a quite a few really good upgrades here. We have, first of all, this fella. So this fella will allow us to solo a really long time, all the way up till 39. Uh, in addition, we will have crazy... Oh, we have farms. Okay, that's really OP. We've got mortar. That's really OP. So I think we'll be fine. Right. Where is Ricochet? Guys, you need to speed up a little bit. There we go. Finally. I'm actually going to go ahead and get hot shots here because then we can deal double damage with that ricochet. All right. And now we save up for the reactor. And what the reactor will do it'll, is it'll allow us to solo all the way up till 39. Which is fantastic. And I want to get him as high as possible up here. So also take care of our camo detection for now. Very nice. So this is obviously giving us tons of money here. We can use. Getting really close. Come on. Come on, guy. Just need this reactor. There we go. Very nice. So now what we can do is we can send out a bunch. I really just want to get a farm here first and foremost. That way we can start farming. We can farm all the way up here. Also can get my hero here. Okay, very good, very good. Now where's Ben? Let me get Ben in here. Nice, all right. Cool, fantastic. Let's see if I can get another farm. Cool. So after we get three farms here, we can really just start going at it. All the way to 39, there we go. Very, very nice. Maybe get one more farm, I don't know. But I'm kind of hesitant here, and the reason I'm kind of hesitant here is that we do need money to take down the Moab. So whatever it's going to take to kill the Moab, we need money to do that. And then some. Although we're getting lots, so I'm really tempted here. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to be really greedy here. Alright, so now some of the stuff we need includes a one of these guys, middle path. Alright, very good. And then, actually, let's go ahead and just get Blade Malstorm. The other thing we need is to take down the Moab. We just need a fighter plane right here. Where are you? Where's my fighter plane? 
We don't have fighter plan. Ooh, okay. Uh, how are we supposed to take him down? I mean, there's plenty of ways. We could use the Maelstorm. Let's use the Maelstorm here. Okay, that's not dealing anywhere near enough damage. Oh, potatoes. This is really bad. Okay, I'm just gonna have to sell. Come on. Come on, come on. No! Potatoes! Okay, we weren't ready for that at all. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We're gonna race again. Uh, obviously, we need a lot of MOA popping power here. I think we could get, uh, what's it called? Like, a uh, Moab Shove, maybe? Moab Shove, I think that would do the trick. We have Mortar, too. That would help us. Yeah, let's race again. Let's just play it really, really cautious. I just want, I literally just want to beat this. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I'm being honest here. Alright, so. Cool, get our free Dart Monkey. Let's just start the first four rounds. One, two, three, four... Five. Let's just go. Let's go. So this guy's good. Because I don't think we have anything besides uh, blues for the first that many rounds. So now we can we have greens now, but that's okay because we're going to get ricochet here in a bit. As soon as we can. Because we're leaking. Good. Very good. Very good. We've got this guy now. Very nice. We can get some farms as well as Ben here too. Ben right here. Very nice. And the reason I'm not getting a crazy reactor yet is because we really don't need it yet, but we will need it here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it now. I think now is about the time we need it. Obviously now we've got enough money. Very cool. Very nice. All right, we can go all the way up till 39. So let's just do it. Cool. And I might get one more upgrade here. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and go for Moab Shove now. Wherever you are. Right here. Very nice. Now hopefully this, this, I mean this will be enough to take down the Moab. Oh, snap. Yeah, I did that a little bit early, but that's okay. We got this. Just go after the Moab, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just go after that Moab. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else matters here, man. Okay, very good. Uh, Let's go ahead and get this guy right here. I'm gonna go for like a biggest one. Eventually. Cool. So we can go all the way up to 59, 49, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, this will help us out here. Okay, no, never mind. We're dead. We're so dead. I thought we could. We probably can't. Oh, never mind. The biggest one's coming in for us. The big one's coming in for us. Alright, now pause. Okay, we're really pushing it right now. What else can we get? What else can we get that's going to help us out? I guess glue might help us out right here. We could get a really nice super monkey too. I kind of want to go for a super monkey right around here. All right, so you're just going to be our really nice knockback super monkey. Just going to save the day. All right, sweet. So yeah, we're getting some lives now. Obviously, this isn't going to be enough to take down 50. Um, it's going to be enough to take down 50. Never mind. It will be. Uh, but the question is, what do we want now? Ugh, I really don't know what to get, guys. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. All right. We could go for... We could go for so much right now. I kind of want to go for a Sun Avatar, because then we can push really, really far. But I don't know. Yeah, if we can go for if we can get Sun Avatar, we're set for a really long time. Oh, oh wow, things are really cheap on this race, which is nice for us. Okay. If we can farm a little bit more, that would be great. Getting close to the end, though, so we do have to 
keep that in mind. I'm gonna go all the way up to 59 here. All right, nice. Now I am gonna get one of these guys right here. I'm gonna get a super storm. All right, very nice. This will help us out. Boom, super storm, very good. I might want banana plantation here. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, can I go a little bit farther? I think we can. So just go ahead and do a little bit of this at the start here. This will help us take down some of these guys. Yeah, and very nice, very nice. Should I get like Moab glue or something like that? Because that would infinitely stall. Oh no, we got these guys. Okay, how are we going to take down the super ceramics? Oh, I guess the, the mortar right here is going to do the trick. We should probably get another mortar though, right here. To be honest, middle path, right? Right, okay, cool. Yeah, this will help out with the against the Moabs. That's really good. Okay. What else do I want? I don't even know. <laughs> I guess we could get more uh more of these fellas. Yeah, and these guys will help us if we're in trouble, I guess. Like right now. And we could get another banana plantation? Might be. Man, we're really not doing a lot of damage to Moabs right now. That's my worry. I guess if we got a spike storm, that would be fantastic. Don't know what we're getting my I don't know what I'm getting myself into here either, so oof. Could be dooming myself. Well sure. Spike storm. Fantastic. So as soon as we get that we can use it. Okay, that, that saved us maybe. Probably not, but you know it doesn't hurt. Cool. Oh, I should have gotten hot spikes here. Would be nice. Did you get Pirate Lord for the last round? You can go up to 79 probably here. Just fine. Oh, snap. No! Oh, snap. I saw that we were leaking and I was like, oh, snap, gotta use everything. And we didn't do it in time. Bummer. That would have killed everything, though. Aw, oh, GG, GG. GG. I'm gonna call it a quit there. <laughs> I tried really hard to beat that race, and we just couldn't. I really don't know what strategy to use on that one, sadly. But, uh, it was really nice stream- it was, it, Well, we're not streaming today, we're, we're recording. It's really nice recording with you all. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If it was worth your time, leave a like, otherwise leave a dislike. As always, don't forget to contribute, and as always, make the most of your day.